In this video, we are going to learn about call and apply methods of JavaScript. My name is Dhananjay Kumar. So as you see on the screen that I have created a function enable. And in this function, I'm passing two parameters, name and age. Inside this function, I'm setting name and age properties of this object. And then in line number seven, I'm printing that. Now in line number 10, I'm calling animal function with new so let's go ahead and look at the output. So as you see here in the output that when I'm calling this function animal with new, then JavaScript creates a new object and assigns that new object as a value of this inside this inside the animal function. So far so good. If I call very same function without new, then JavaScript would consider global object as value of this inside the animal function. So let's revise up to here that if I call this function using new, then JavaScript creates a new object and it, assign, and it assigns that new object as value of this inside the function animal. However, if I call that without new, then JavaScript would consider global object as value of this inside the animal function. So you see here that it has added name and age properties to the global object. So if you understand so far, now let's understand a problem statement. Let us say that I have one object, dog, and dog has color. And let's say dog has a city. Dog lives in a city and I'll say NY. Now my requirement is that I need to pass this doc object as the value of this in the animal function. Means in the animal function, this re should represent dog object instead of newly created object or global object. And how would I do that? So I can do that by using call and apply methods. JavaScript's call and apply methods allows us to pass, manually pass value of this object inside a function. So here, let's go ahead and call this function animal with call. So if you call this using call method, the first parameter you need to pass is that object which you want to set as the value of this inside animal. Here I want to set dog object. So that's the first parameter always in call and in apply both. So this dog would be set as the value of this inside the animal function. So first parameter remember is always that object which you need to pass as the value of this. After that, if you are using call, then for this function animal, you have other two parameters name and age. You can pass them here in comma separated ways. So if you, pass, you, you are using call method, then you need to pass these extra parameters as comma separated values. Now, when we go ahead and print this, we should get here for line number 11, dog object printed. And here you see that dog object is now assigned as the value of this inside the animal function. If you use apply, then everything is same that first parameter would be the object which you wish to set as the value of this. And second parameter would be an array. And inside that array, you would pass these, pro these pa extra parameters. So here I would pass name and age inside an array. array. So remember, apply array uh, call method is comma separated. Uh, separated. So here again let's go ahead and run this and you see that dog object is here. So call and apply methods are used to manually pass value of this object inside a function. You can use call and uh, apply methods with uh, objects literal as well. So let's say that I have here in the dog object I have one one method called display so i'm saying function and inside this let's say i say console.log and this now i have one more object here let's say this i have let us say this animal object only so i can go here and say where a equal to new animal 
So animal function would create a new object foo and 20. All right, so here, as you see that it is animal object due to this animal function. So A is an animal ob object of animal constructor. Now my requirement is to pass this A object as the value of this inside display. So again, what would I do? I would say dog dot display dot call and you can pass A. Now I'm going to comment this console.log such that we focus on line number seven console.log this. So what I'm doing, I have created a dog object inside that created a meter display. And here inside display by default, this represents the dog object, but I want to pass this A object as the value of this. So I would call like this and here you can see that here animal is passed inside the display method of dog object. So now I hope you understand the purpose of call and apply methods. Both are uh, used to manually pass a value of this inside a function. Also when you call a function using either uh, call or apply methods, that is also known as indirect invocation pattern. So do not forget this term. If someone is coming to you and using this fancy word, what is indirect invocation pattern, your answer should be that when I call a function using call or apply methods, such that I can manually pass value of this inside the function, that way of calling invocation function is also known as indirect invocation pattern. So I hope now you won't do mistake answering when someone is asking you what is call and apply methods and you won't do mistake using call and apply methods in your project. Thank you so much for watching this video.